been basically using the Stream Deck for about five months now, and now I'm going to tell you what I actually think of it. Hey, what's up, guys? I just got the Elgato Stream Deck in the mail, so I'm going to show it to you guys. So let's go. I ordered this Stream Deck uh, online from eBay. Now, it's normal price, as you can see on the sticker there, is about $200. Now, that's pretty similar, and that's $200 Australian. Uh, now, that's pretty similar if you go into somewhere like JB Hi-Fi or even a lot of the computer shops online and stuff. So I was lucky enough to get this one on eBay. I ended up paying $145 for it. So it did say it was brand new. Now, I only just pulled it out of the postage bag. What I can tell is some tape around it. So I'm going to, maybe it's a demo unit that they just had on display or something. Um, I'll just open it up and we'll check. Um, we'll, we'll try it out. So let's get into it. Pulling the box apart is making a bit of a mess, so that's a good sign, I guess. Um, now, for those who don't know what the Stream Deck is, basically, it's a bunch of miniature screens, or I should say it could just be one big screen, but it allows for a controller for usually, typically it's used for something like Twitch, um, but you can use it to control certain aspects of the computer. So. Uh, opening up the box is quite nice. It's you know everything's packed in there neatly So I'm pretty happy that that's a brand new unit. It does also Come with a stand as well. So you would put that on the stand on your, your desk Basically, it's just a USB plug-in um, and each of these buttons here have a screen behind it So you can actually see what the commands are. So instead of having hot keys, let's say on your keyboard um, They can be on here um, and easy to push to, to do whatever you need it to do. So um, we'll try some things out. One thing I just want to say too is that I purchased this myself. So this isn't a paid review or anything like that. So I'm just going to be as honest as I can. Now it does also come with this little book that shows you how to set it up. Uh, so basically it says plug it in, download the, uh, install the app and then you can go through and set it all up. So let's do that. All right, so I'm now on the website for the Elgato Stream Deck. Now, in here we'll have the downloads. So, you know, I haven't really looked at this website and I'm not really gonna bother uh, running around too much and looking through the stuff. Um, what I wanna do is get in and actually get this Stream Deck for Windows. Now, obviously they've got a game capture thing, but I'm using, uh, for anyone that is interested I'm using uh, OB, OBS uh, studio which you can see the icon here so I'm gonna download the stream deck software and I'm gonna install it uh, just to the C drive All right so now as you can see there I've actually got a camera focused in um, sorry it's not fixed but I'm just holding a separate camera you can see on the screen here that the button is available for the welcome now actually on the screen the, the actual unit itself that button's showing so i can either click on the screen to see that or i can actually push the button here on the unit and as i push it now it's taking me off to their website so obviously that's the first program button that they have um, and through this website i'm assuming they'll have a tutorial on how to set that up and such um, and how to integrate with Twitch and all those things. So what I'm going to do for starters is I'll go back to the app and I'm going to add a few little basic things. So for example, let's add in there the record and if we move it across over to where we want it and I drop it into that spot hit there, there you go straight away it's now showing up on the actual stream deck. So that's pretty cool. Same with screenshot and such. So if I really wanted to take a screenshot of the screen, I push that and it's coming up with an error at the moment. I'm assuming because I haven't set the location of uh, where I want that to go. If you want to, you can change the actual image. Um, of that so it might be something that looks a bit easier for you to, to understand um, and you can set up all these different preset ones 
which I think a lot of them are based around, you know, the the Twitch and um, YouTube type of, and, you know, all those things like Twitter and all those streaming apps. Now, there is availability there to uh, add in your own stuff if you wanted to. So, you know, I can create folders as well. So you, if you want to have a folder and inside that folder, you would then add extra things. So let's say, for example, I wanted all this one to just be Twitch stuff. I can add everything in there. And as you can see, they're showing up on the actual Stream Deck itself. And I can push back to go back or back into there. And if I push it, it would link now. Um, let's say, for example, I want to hit the viewers. It's not linked up to my Twitch account yet, so I can't do that. But you would, it would come up and show uh, whatever you need. So um, same thing for just websites. Let's say we wanted to go to a website URL. We can put it in there. Um, let's say, for example, I'm always opening up my YouTube account. I could type that in there, put that URL of my YouTube channel. So if I hit one of them, straight away it's taking us off to my cryptocurrency channel or I can push the other one and straight away it'll go into my normal channel for my other videos so pretty cool now I'm not going to go into heaps of stuff around this and do every single um, component of the the buttons but I guess the some of the, the really cool stuff that you want to be able to do is things like if you're videoing you can switch between different cameras I've got at least two cameras set up all the time around my workshop okay now as you saw there um, I use the settings also to update the firmware and you can also update check for updates on the software as well it's up to date the accounts um, we can obviously link together twitch accounts and also the YouTube and stuff like that for when I start using these so, um, quick buttons so I'm I'm not gonna go through and do those just yet now this game capture up here obviously links back to the game capture software that they provide themselves um, but I'm using OBS studio so what I can do is have let's say a folder here which might just be all my OBS uh, studio stuff in there and inside there um, I'll clear all these ones out and in there I can have all of my stuff so I would need to program these to link up to uh, my OBS studio account so now I'm gonna tell you what I actually think of it so basically the stream deck I've been using nearly every single day now the only time that I'm not using it is when I have to pull out my USB hub for some reason because Windows isn't loading because I got issues with that Sabertooth motherboard or whatever it is but other than that I'm basically using it to shortcut nearly everything to open up games programs uh, recording editing videos so I'm basically using it a lot um, now even there's some cool little things that you know that I've been playing around with over that time and one of those is this little soundboard so if I push the little sound I've got a bunch of different sounds that I can actually play from that so if I wanted to play any different sounds it's ridiculous now, it's pretty fun when you're in the middle of a game and you can just start throwing in a couple of those sounds at the right time so I do that sometimes in some of my games but that's just a little gimmicky thing but overall the Elgato Stream Deck is probably one of the best things that I have sitting on my computer um, as far as a peripheral goes um, especially for doing any type of streaming recording or even if you use a lot of applications it's so easy just to jump into stuff by hitting that one button boom it opens up yes you can have shortcuts on your desktop um, 
I just find it's just nice and easy to see the buttons. I even know where they are so quickly I can jump to, let's say, the OBS studio. I know it's in the top corner. I can hit the button directly underneath it. It'll open up OBS on the second screen. I can then start to live stream or even live record anything on my screens or from my cameras or if I had any inputs coming into the computer. I know it's it's about 150 bucks or whatever it was. Um, for me, it was worthwhile. The only downside I can actually see to the Stream Deck um, which to begin with even there was some earlier on issues that I thought oh maybe they could fix these up which they did you know it goes to sleep after a bit now um, and you can just hit a button and it wakes up um, whereas before you'd have to actually pull it out of the USB port um, whereas now they've fixed that up in the the uh, updates the only thing I can say is that you may want more than the 15 buttons there but when you can break it down you can actually open up the new folder and go through them all if you get to learn which ones it is um, then it shouldn't be an issue um, the 15 should be enough it has taken me a while to do this review but I think because I've been using it for so long I can actually give you a pretty honest review on it um, this isn't something that they've actually paid you know I haven't been paid to actually do this review or been given the item for free so honest as it can get um, I use it every day if you would use something similar I would suggest investing in something like this um, so that's really about it for me uh, if you have any questions or if you've got one yourself and you have any other comments on it just throw it in the comment section below but other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you next time thanks for watching my video if you liked it hit that like button or you can subscribe by hitting the button up here now I've also got a couple more videos up here on this side and I've also got my cryptocurrency channel over here so go check that out but thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.